Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the RGB split tutorial. There's none other like it, the tutorial. Anyways, I'm sure most of you are familiar with a popular video co-pilot plugin called Twitch and that has a RGB split uh, section to the plugin and I will show you how to make an effect that looks exactly like that except only using the effects built into After Effects. If you're going to buy Twitch on and only use the RGB split, this will save you 45 bucks. And here are some examples. Get it? Say something original? Yeah. It's called thinking outside of my house. I mean, the box. Another example. A sexy chick, sexy effect. Unfortunately, I'm not here to talk about the sexy chicks, but I am here to talk about the effect. So let's get started with a new composition. I'm going to use this photo of Olivia Wilde just in case some of you guys get bored. Hopefully this will keep your interest. First of all, I'm going to make the shake using a wiggle uh, expression, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with, and in case you are not, the way you'll make that is, it's really easy, take your layer, effect, expression control, slider control, uh, get the position, just select your layer, hit P on the keyboard, alt click the stopwatch, type in exactly this, W-I-G-G-L-E, begin parentheses, and I'm going to say about 5, comma, and then pick whip the slider value and end parentheses. So if you don't know, what this says is wiggle the position approximately five times per second for the value of this slider. So as you can see, when I bring this slider up, you can see the position of the layer starts spazzing out like crazy. So set that back down to zero. Let's just say we can check out Olivia for about a second and then I'm going to keyframe the slider, hit U on the keyboard to see the keyframes, uh, have it at zero, set it to maybe about 50. That means it will wiggle in approximately 50 pixels, and then after about one second, set it down to zero. So you see Olivia Wilde there, she shakes around, and then it stops. Maybe have it last a bit longer. In bed. What? Anyways, so now we have our shake and next we want to split our color channels. So take your layer, say effect uh, channel and shift channels and leave the alpha alone and say for the red, green, and blue turn them to full off and duplicate this twice so now you have three layers and it doesn't matter what order in them but make sure one is red, one is green, and one is blue and I'm setting these up like this just so I can keep track so for example on the blue one you're going to go to the shift channels and say take blue from blue go figure then for the green one take green from green and red from red. Now you'll see we each have a um, separate color channel and they're all wiggling in different directions. So now we want them to overlay each other. So go to the toggle the switches and the modes if you don't see it and set the transfer modes of all of them to add. The bottom one can be normal as well, doesn't matter. And now you can see our image is back to exactly the way it looked before we split all of the channels. And then you'll see once it starts shaking up, you have that awesome effect. Now of course there's some transparency because it is shaking around quite a bit, so that's easy to fix. and. To fix that, you'll go to Effect, Stylize, Motion Tile, say Mirror Edges, and set the Output Height and Width 
to something over 100. I like to do uh, 120. Don't set it too high because After Effects still needs to render those pixels there. If you set it too high, you might start lagging. Copy that effect. Edit, copy, paste them onto the other two layers, and now our motion has been tiled. And now you see we have the awesome RGB split effect that you'll see and get using Twitch. And of course you're going to want to turn on the motion blur for that and the composition. And now you are looking good, both the effect and you. Another cool thing you can do with this is take each one and offset them a little bit instead of having it shake to death and offset them a bit and maybe like keyframe it to bring it back together and that's also pretty awesome. Alright guys, I am Reno Gregory, at least the last time I checked. Uh, be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos, post them on Facebook, tweet them on Twitter. Speaking of which, feel free to stalk me at that link. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed checking out Olivia Wilde, and I will see you next time.